Hey guys, welcome back to Carding with Chris. Today's video is going to be the Spring 2 final race here at Lone Star Kart Park. Now for those of you who have not seen my pre-final race, click in the top right hand corner of your screen, go check that out. Uh, but for those of you who have watched my pre-final race but just don't remember what happened, uh, I started in last, moved up into first, and then dropped down into third on like the last couple of laps. So for this race, since we ended third in the pre-final, we're going to be starting in third for this final. Now, like the pre-final, the warm-up lap for the final is just as dreadful, so I'm going to skip ahead to the last couple corners of this warm-up lap. So my strategy for the start of this race is to hold the inside. A lot of people tend to try and poke a nose through the inside. I don't want to give them that opportunity, so we're going to hold the inside and just try and follow the guy in first. So we're about to go onto the main straight here. And I will say, the flagman waved the green flag really early. So right about here is when the flagman waved green. And we're good to go. Uh, kind of caught me off guard, but I think it caught the front two off guard as well. Um, but we do manage to hold third place. No one got past us. Going to this left-hander right here, I'm going to send it up the inside of the guy in second. The guy in first actually goes really wide as well, so that was a two for one. And now we're up in the first place. Going into this left-hander right here, I'm going to go defensive. Don't want anyone sending it up. Uh, going through this double right-hander. Didn't go defensive, didn't feel like anyone was close. And yeah, from here on out, we just got to put our head down and put down the qualifying laps. Now, unfortunately, at this point in the race, I have realized that my cart is really not that fast, uh, especially top end. And you're probably wondering, well, how do you already know that you haven't even gotten onto the straights yet? Um, the reason I can tell is, you know, once you've driven a bad cart and a good cart, there's a pretty big difference, and you can tell. So going down the straight here, the guy in second, he probably notices this as well, passes me like I'm nothing, not a whole lot I can do there. Um, he's just going to really sail by me. So at this point, I'm kind of on the back foot. I know I'm on the back foot. So I want to try and get in first and kind of control the race. So going through this left-hander right here, I'm going to send it up the inside. The guy in first left it there. And we're going to retake first place. Uh, the reason I want to be in first is because the guy in front kind of controls the race. And so my reasoning is, is that if I'm in front, I can control the race. And hopefully, if I'm this slow, I can get people from behind to kind of bunch up. And then they can start fighting each other. And then once that happens, then maybe I can pull away. Now, to make things worse, I've got a slow car. And coming out of these last couple of corners here, you see me looking down. I'm also being sprayed with gasoline. I think the gas pump or whatever was loose as the guy in second retakes first place. So not only do I have a slow cart, I'm also being sprayed with gasoline. So right now, this is not the best start of this race, but um, we just got to keep our head up and keep pushing. Now, one thing I was starting to notice is that, yes, the guy in first does have more top end than me. We've already figured that out. Passes me like I'm standing still. But one thing I was noticing is that through the corners, I was able to not only keep up to the guy in first, but also gain on the guy in first. So uh, maybe my cart's got a little more bottom end than his or whatever the case may be, but um, this will allow me to help keep up with him. But again, on the straights, I've got nothing on him. Uh, going through these last couple of corners here, we're about to hit the straight, and you're gonna see just how much he pulls away from me. So. Um, this is a little concerning. Uh, I take a look behind me just to make sure no one's going to pass me. There is a small gap behind me, so I don't have to worry too much, but look at the gap to the guy in first right now, and then once we hit the corners here, you're going to see it slowly close. So uh, maybe if I can get back in front of the guy in first, maybe I can uh, try and figure out how to keep him behind me. Now, unfortunately, LSK is a very top-end heavy track, so most of these corners are full throttle. And the ones that aren't full throttle are either a tap of the brakes and then just back on the gas. So I did catch up to the guy in first. We're definitely a lot closer than we were at the beginning of this lap. But at the end of this lap here, you're going to see him just pull away from me. And that's what people hate about rental car racing is just the inequality of cars. Now, because of this lack of top end, the guy in third, who's right behind me, he's going to look for the move going to this first corner right here. Not a lot I can do. Um, I was full throttle through that corner, you can see it's still pulling away from me. Um, but like I said, I was pretty quick through the corners. Um, and it wasn't just the guy on first, it was also this guy who's now in second as well. Um, so going through this double right-hander up ahead, I'm actually going to bang into the back of him, totally on accident. I didn't mean to, I actually hit him quite hard. Um, and that was just 
because I was just going a lot faster through that corner. So I don't know if he backed off through that corner. I don't know what he's doing, but um, this is kind of telling me that maybe through the corners, I do have some sort of hope of getting a decent result. So we're currently in third. We're still on that bottom step of the podium, so it's not over yet. There is a medium-sized gap behind me. It's not large, it's not small. I don't have to worry about them anytime soon, but eventually they will catch up to me. But I'm just gonna look forward. I can see the two guys in front are going side by side. That's definitely gonna slow them down. I don't have any top end. I know I sound like a broken record player. And for those of you wondering what the difference is in lap times a slow cart is compared to a fast cart, in the pre-final, I had a fast cart. I call it a fast cart. This cart, not so much. And my difference in lap times was about one and a quarter seconds. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with here. Now, fortunately, this is a race and lap times don't really count for anything. It's not qualifying. And because it's a race, there usually is a lot of fighting. So this is kind of what's allowing me to keep up with the guys in front. You can see they are ahead of me and down the straights again, they do pull away from me, but they are also fighting a fair bit. And on this lap, they're gonna be fighting a lot. So going into this left-hander right here, the guy in second looks for the move on the guy in first, and then they're gonna go side by side to this next left-hander up ahead. And they're gonna go crazy narrow. And so that's really gonna slow them down. And now I'm right on them. I'm really close to them. And coming out of this double right-hander, I go side by side with the guy in second. He pushes me out wide. Um, thought for sure he saw me but apparently he didn't so use those peripherals but now we're right next to the guy in second he goes out really wide through that left hander back there and so we're going to take the inside and we're going to move up in second place now so this is good news for us we're about halfway through the race and we're in second place that's pretty good um, all this fighting is helpful i am encouraging the fighting some people don't like the fighting as the guy in third now becomes the guy in second Again, down the straights, I just can't block that off. There's really nothing I can do. Um, and so, again, through the corners, that's really where I'm gonna have to try and catch them back up. Now, one thing I notice is that there's a back marker in front of the guy in first. And if this back marker does what back markers like to do, I'm thinking by the end of this lap, we should be in first place. So this is kind of what I'm hoping for right now. We are still keeping up with the guy in second. Again, the corners, that's where we're excelling. But um, one thing that happened is that the fighting that I did with the guy who's in second has allowed the guy from third, or no, I'm in third, the guy from fourth and the guy from fifth to catch up to me. And so going down the straight here, they're right on my bumper. They're not gonna go for the move through this first corner right here, but going through the left-hander up ahead, the guy in fourth is going to move up into third place. Um, I didn't see it coming, honestly. I thought he was too far back. Uh, but I do go defensive on the guy in fifth place. I don't want to lose two positions. Um, and so we're going to try and hope that there's a little more fighting up ahead. The guy in first has cleared the back marker. And so the people in second and third are next behind the back marker. Hopefully they do some more fighting. Like I said, it's kind of our only hope at this point. And that's kind of what happens. The guy in second and third are really going at it. Unfortunately, this is all happening on the straights and I can't really do anything on the straights. Even when they are fighting, I still can't keep up on the straights. And now the guy in fifth is going to pass me, going into this first corner right here. And if we end the video right here, that's a Carding with Chris video confirmed, but I'm not having any of that. So I'm gonna jump up into fourth place now. Um, and then going through this left-hander right here, I'm gonna go narrow. I don't want him going for the instant reply on me. Coming out of the left-hander, going into the double right-hander, We've got the back marker in front of us now. He has his hand up. He's really frustrated with someone. Uh, going through this double right-hander here, I felt like I had enough momentum to squeeze my way through. But the back marker had other ideas, deciding to turn left into a right-hander. But all this bumping and fighting and sending back markers into the wall has allowed fifth and sixth to catch up to me. And unfortunately, they caught up to me on the straights. And they're just gonna pass me like I'm standing still. It's just gonna be no contests, nothing I can do. And you're just gonna see the gap they're able to pull going into this left-hander up here. Usually this left-hander right here is a good passing spot, but whenever people pull that big of a gap on you, there's really nothing you can do. 
So I'm gonna skip ahead to the end of this lap. Not a lot happened on this lap. And so you can see just the gap that people in front are able to pull. And I'm shaking my head. I'm a little frustrated with this race. Uh, whenever you get a bad cart, it's just not a lot you can do. You're just a sitting duck out there. Uh, there are two more laps left in this race, so it's not over yet. We can see third, fourth, and fifth are directly in front. They're pretty close to each other. Hopefully they start fighting. I did look behind me um, a couple corners ago, and I noticed that the gap behind me is quite large, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can focus all my time and energy on the three in front. The guy in fifth looks for the move on the guy in fourth. I don't think it turned out too well from him. And so on the exit, he's going very slow. We move up into fifth place, so we end the video right here. That's a Carding with Chris video confirmed. But we have one more lap left, and so I'm going to go narrow going into this left-hander right here. I'm looking for the guy. He's going around the outside, and he's taking the long way around the corner, and he's still able to get in front of me. So that's just showing you how slow my car is in a straight line. Now we're on the last lap, and we're just going to do whatever it takes to get in front of this guy. So going into this left-hander right here, we're just going to send it, savage dive bomb. Going through the double right-hander, I go narrow, kind of forces his way through the inside. A little aggressive, but in rental racing, that's actually perfectly normal. Through these next couple of right-handers, he's got the inside, not a lot I can do. Through the left-hander, I think he turned in a little early, kind of blocking me off. And then the rest of this is just a full-on straight. It's not really straight, but it's full throttle and not a lot I can do. If you were paying attention to any of this video, can't really do much down the straights. And so I thought we were going to finish in sixth place, but I think we actually finished in fifth. I don't know if someone up ahead got a penalty or what, but when I came into the pits, it said I got fifth place. So after all that, that's a Carding with Chris video confirmed. So we started in third place. We moved up into first and then slowly worked down to sixth and then ended up fifth overall. Uh, not my best race in the world. Definitely was hoping for a better result, but at the end, what can you say? Carding with Chris video confirmed. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, please do comment below. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.